Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I see you've landed in Anchorhead. Tatooine is a vast and dangerous desert of a planet, and I'm afraid you can't count on having Republic support during your mission there. Perfect. Just perfect. Your enthusiasm fills me with confidence, Lieutenant. In the absence of military assets, I've arranged a local contact to assist you in your mission. Ole Claren, the mayor of Anchorhead. Mayor Claren may not be a soldier, but he knows the area extremely well, and can put his city's resources, whatever those may be, at your disposal. Do you really want to bring a civvy into all this? Rather than have you wander Tatooine aimlessly looking for clues, Mayor Claren will help you focus your search. Still, this is a top secret operation, and it should remain such. I told Mayor Claren only that you're undertaking an important mission, which is all that he needs to know. Understood? I know how to keep my mouth shut, Garza. Now all we need to do is teach you how to address a superior officer. Then you'll actually be a useful Spec Force operative. That's all I have for you, Lieutenant. Good luck on your mission. Garza out. That puts the tally somewhere around 64, sir. But we've still got some volunteers digging through the rubble, to be sure. 64? So, so many. So much death, and for what? Why is this happening? What have we done to deserve this? We still don't have any leads, sir, but I'm sure... Excuse me, who are you? This is the mayor's office. You can't just barge in here without an appointment. Special forces. I do what I want. It's all right, Kong. This is the Republic soldier I told you about. The one that General called about. I am so thankful that you're here. Please, Lieutenant, I need your help. My city, the people of Anchorhead, need your help. I'm not here to help you. You're here to help me. My duty is to the people of Anchorhead, not to you. My people come first. Someone is attacking us, Lieutenant. Bombs have been going off all over Anchorhead, more than a dozen just in the past week. And we have no idea who's behind them. No threats, no demands or warnings. Innocent people are being murdered without any explanation. I'm not hearing why I should care. Please, Lieutenant, under any other circumstances, helping a representative from the Republic would be my top priority. But my people are dying. It's my duty to put their lives first. Help me save them, and I swear to help you any way I can. Sir, Mayor Clarence, sir. There's been another bombing, an apartment building over in District 7. Oh, no. No. How many? Do we know yet? No, sir, but it's going to be bad. A lot of people lived in the building. A lot of families. I look into this, then you help me with my mission. Is that how this is going to work? Yes. If you want my help, you have to help my people first. After the first explosion, there are always more, all in the same area. If you hurry, you might get there in time to stop them. Please, Lieutenant, protect my people and I'll do anything I can to help your mission. Please, hurry! <laughs> what? Who, who's there? Just hang in there, Bennett. I'm Kana. I'm your neighbor, remember? You're going to be okay. Just try not to move, all right? Uh, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> but my leg... Uh, uh. Who isn't too busy dying to tell me what happened here? I think I'm the only person who lives here who wasn't hurt. I was just up the street, heading for the market. One second I was walking, and the next I was face down in the street. I didn't even see the explosion. I just felt it. Gone just before the bomb blew. Lucky you. What do you mean? Are you accusing me of doing this? Why would I ever do such a thing? D droid It was a droid. Walked in the front door and boom, everything went white. You're in shock, sir. You could have seen anything. I... I know what I saw. I'm sure of it. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Over there! In the doorway! Is it over? Are they all dead? Don't start thanking me all at once. You did it! You really did it! We're safe! Bennett, we're safe! Uh, good. Good. We owe you our lives. I wish there were some way we could repay you. I'm sure a pretty girl like you could think of some way to reward me. I, uh, I hadn't, I didn't really think of 
of anything like that. And, uh, well, there's really nowhere for us to go, uh, privately now. We, uh, should really be getting Bennett and these others to a med center. Farewell to you, soldier. I stopped the bombings. There were no casualties beyond the initial blast. You really did it? Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you so much. The city of Anchorhead owes you a great debt. Excuse me, Mayor Claren. I I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but we have an urgent holocaust. Someone who claims to have vital information about the bomber's identity. What? Really? Put them through, Cone. Oh, uh, hello there, Mayor Claren, sir. My name is Vanto Basrin, and I have vital information for you regarding... I'm sorry, is that... Sergeant? Is that you? Sergeant, it's me, Fuse, from Ward Mantell. Remember? I remember Ord Mantell, Fuse, and I'm here to make you pay for it. I'm... I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I know you might not believe this, but I'm really, really glad you're here. If anyone can shut down the imps and stop the bombings in Anchorhead, it's you. Pointless flattery won't make me trust you, Fuse. What? I, no! No, please, you don't understand! It, it's not like that! Lieutenant! Who is this guy? Can he really help us stop the bombings? This man is a traitor to the Republic. Don't trust a word he says. Please, I don't have much time. If they catch me transmitting, they'll... It won't be good. The Imperials brought me here to design bombs. Desert planet, middle of nowhere, you know, makes sense, right? Then Colonel Gorick, the imp leader, well, he wants to test the bombs, but he won't use the empty deserts. He wanted a live testing ground. He chose Anchorhead. That son of a... He's killing innocent people just to test your damn bombs? This is a Republic military matter. It doesn't concern you. My citizens have been murdered by the dozens, and you expect me to stay out of it? As soon as I found out, I told Gork I wouldn't do it. Never. So his men locked me up in here. Gork's afraid of Tavis, or he would have just killed me. Only you can stop Gork now. Let me help you. Let me tell you who's putting the bomb droids together. Keep talking. I'm listening. A group of Geonosians is building the bomb droids. When each batch is finished, they're sent to the coordinates that Gorak provides. The Geonosians are holed up somewhere outside Anchorhead, but I, I don't know where the exact location is. Guards are coming now. I have to hide the transmitter before I'm caught. Fuse out. Do you know anything about these Geonosians, Mayor Claren? The Geonosians Fuse mentioned, a big gang of them, moved into an abandoned town nearly two months ago. They haven't been a problem, no worse than scavengers. We... we never imagined they were involved in the bombings. If you ask me, it's all just a trap. I don't see that we have any choice but to investigate, Lieutenant. Think of how many lives you'll be saving if Fuse is right. If you kill the Geonosians' leader, it should put a stop to all of this. But there are so many, getting in won't be easy. You don't think we should try to talk this one out, Mayor? If you think you can talk them down, be my guest. But if what Fuse said is true, then I'm not interested in a peaceful resolution. Good luck out there, Lieutenant. What I'm saying, my dear friends, is that the latest objective was not destroyed. I came to show you what happened to your droids. A Republic soldier! Kill him, Kyvax! Now! So, so sorry, Mayor Claren. I... I just... I never imagined it would come to this, you know? Innocent people dead, all because of my designs. I, I was so stupid. Well, you're working for the right side now, okay, buddy? We're going to put a stop to this. Views may seem like your buddy now, but that doesn't make it true. I'm pretty sure he's being straight with us, Lieutenant. I heard you found the Geonosians, just like he said. He, uh, he didn't just find them. He wiped them out. Colonel Gorick is, uh... Huh. He isn't pleased about you being here, Lieutenant. His entire operation on high alert. I think it's time for you to tell me where you are, Fuse. Well, I would, but, uh, there's a problem. You see, 
The base's location is a total secret. I, I have no idea where we are. The only people who have the base's coordinates are Gorg's commando teams. You'll, uh, you have to hit one of those teams to get the coordinates. There's gotta be an easier way. I'm sorry, but there's, there's really no other way to find this place. When the guards were talking earlier, I... I overheard them mention a commando team stationed in a cave near the Sand People's settlements. The commandos were deployed to test some of my designs on the Sand People. Mines, booby traps, that kind of thing. So the Sand People are, you know, pretty riled up right now. I'm basically committing suicide by going out there. Is that about right? Well, it might be suicidal for anybody else, but not for you. It, uh, it may not be long before Gord decides to pull out entirely, Lieutenant. He's worried that more Republic reinforcements are coming. So, try to reach the cave and get the coordinates off the commandos quickly, before the opportunity is gone. Good luck out there. You'll need it. <laughs>